Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and this was announced a couple of days ago and that is that Game Maker is now free. Now before you guys all call me a master clickbaiter, I want you to focus really strongly on that asterisk down below because that asterisk is carrying a lot of weight in this video. It's free or has a free edition, I guess we could technically say. We'll get back to the, the pricing changes in just a sec. It's all good news. Uh, there's definitely no gotchas or catches or anything here. It's, it's a better system than it was before, but there's still a commercial version version here. It's not like you can use this professionally for free or anything like that. But first, what the heck is a game maker? Well, this is a game engine that has been around for a very long time. What you see in front of you, this is a game maker, kind of a level editing environment. Uh, you got full world building tools here. You've got, you know, tile based map editor. Uh, you've got a couple of different ways you can program. So let's go ahead. We'll select our main character over here. We'll double click him. And what you'll notice here is we have various different objects available. So for example, here, this is a visual script that is run when the player presses the left key down. Here is the uh, right key down and so on. So you've got uh, basically uh, this visual programming language option out there. They also have their own scripting language, which is kind of like C. Uh, it's called Game Maker Script or GML, um, which might be Game Maker Language. Uh, but basically, this has been a uh, game engine in use for, for eons. It used to make a, a number of successful games in the past, so it definitely uh, has a pedigree about it. And some of those games include things like Hyper Light Drifter, Undertale, Hotline Miami, Forager, and so on and so forth. So definitely, uh, it is a game engine that has uh, stood the test of time. Now, it was bought a while back by uh, Opera, the maker of the browser. And I sort of expected a free version then. Eventually, we did get a web-based free version, uh, but that, that was it. I was actually expecting this announcement much earlier than we got it. So let's move on to the announcement side of things. First things first, if you are interested in grabbing Game Maker, it is available at GameMaker.io. Uh, it is available for Windows and Mac. I do believe it will run uh, through Wine on Linux and platforms, but please do not quote me there. Uh, you can basically go ahead and download it quite simply now. Uh, so basically grab it for the version you want. The new streamlining of pricing makes this a lot easier, but now let's get on to that actual announcement. So on uh, November the 21st, sorry about that, I was actually traveling at the time, so that's why I didn't cover it until today, uh, but they made this announcement. So we have a special gift for our community this Thanksgiving. From now on, Game Maker will be free for non-commercial purposes on all non-console platformers. At the same time, to meet the needs of hobbyists and indie developers, we are introducing a new one-time fee, a commercial license that is replacing the current creator slash indie subscriptions. Uh, nothing changes for developers uh, targeting the consoles or enterprise subscriptions remaining the same and so on. So if you're working on consoles, nothing has changed here. So why did they do it? To say thank you. Before, uh, So since they joined the Opera family, Game Maker has had a threefold increase in its active users. Lots of young people came to try Game Maker. Over 6,000 games were published on GX.games. And as a result of the product evolution, Game Maker is now better than ever. And a bonus, it can now be used to create animated live wallpapers that can be used in the Opera GX browser or directly in Windows. That's just a start. Uh, all of our asset bundles will now be free for everyone, which is also pretty cool. We'll get back to that in just a second. Um, we, also, we have seen other platforms make uh, awkward moves with their pricing and terms. <coughs> Unity, <laughs> Unity. Uh, so we thought, uh, what if we did the opposite? Uh, something that could actually be good for developers. Our success is registered by the, measured by the number of people making games. So uh, here we are. Happy Thanksgiving. The new pricing structure reflects Game Maker's commitment to making game development more accessible and flexible. Free version serves as an entry point for beginners. A one-time commercial fee is for the curious ones, while the subscription-based enterprise tiers provides the scalable options for more experienced developers and professionals. If you're already an existing subscriber, you may be entitled to a free commercial commercial license or discount, check out their facts for all the details. And then on top of that, they did mention earlier on that the asset bundles are now all available free. Is there a number of kits you can use to create games? Uh, so for example, well, you've got, you've got a ton of different ones here, a lot of sprite packs and so on. All this stuff is free now. You can go ahead and download something like this one right here. You can pick to either bring it as a YYMPS extension pack or as a zip file, which basically just has the assets within it. You can see a list of all of those assets available there. If you head on back over to the game maker, you can go into, uh, I believe it is tools, import local package, grab one of those packages, such as the one I just mentioned right there. So shmup, grab it, open it. And then you can say, okay, well, what do I want to bring in? So you can bring in the notes, tiles, sprites, and tile sets. We'll import all of those in there. We head on over here. 
So we've got sprites, for example, and now we have a number of new sprites. I'm mixing two together, so I don't know uh, what new ones are, what old ones are. So these look like mostly from this game. Uh, but basically, you could import them in that way uh, and then have access to um, you know a whole bunch of new assets, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, so that is an example of what has changed here. So I'm back over to the release notes. So they did mention their fact. Uh, so how much does it cost to use GameMaker? It's absolutely free to download and keep forever for non-commercial uses. Uh, for commu commercial use or console export, you have to purchase a professional license or the enterprise subscription. Uh, what are the free limitations? Basically, if you want to make uh, money from your game, you need to buy a commercial license, which is $99, uh, but there is regional pricing. So depending on where you live, it might be a little bit cheaper. Uh, and then for the console exports, you need an enterprise subscription at that point in time. Uh, I'm not 100% certain what enterprise pricing is. Uh, and then if you bought the old version, so the old creator or indie tier, those subscriptions will not be renewed when your license expires. Once it expires, you may want to purchase a one-time pro license or sign up for an enterprise license. If you choose to buy a pro license, a discount will be applied based on how much you previously paid for your subscription. Uh, so people that already paid some money uh, are actually getting... Uh, uh, upgrade towards the one-time license fee going forward. So you spent five months on the creator subscription. You paid them 25 bucks, rounded up, then there's 5%. That's 25%. Cost is 99.99. 25% will be uh, 74.99. So basically, if you just signed up, you're going to get it for more or less free. Uh, so uh, that is uh, pretty cool on the whole. So again, there, there's literally nothing bad in this announcement. It is all good news. Uh, so Game Maker, uh, all versions except for the console version. So like the web and uh, mobile and desktop versions uh, are all um, free uh, for non-commercial use. And if you want to use them commercially, they have shifted back to kind of the way it used to be, if I recall correctly, a one-time fee. Uh, so uh, it, it looks like much more straightforward licensing. Um, and uh, again, I think it's I think it's a good move across the board. Now, obviously, you can have the people say, "Well, what's the point of Game Maker in this day and age?" You know, there's there's Godot, there's Unity, there's Unreal, there's all these other engines out there. Some people just like Game Maker. It's really that simple. There are things to like about Game Maker, and I'm not gonna dump on anyone's decision to do that. Now, the big thing here is uh, it is now a lot more straightforward and flexible to go ahead and check it out. Uh, so you're getting access to basically the full tooling set uh, for free for non-commercial use, which is, again, when Opera bought them, I sort of expected them to do that immediately. I'm surprised that it has taken this long. Uh, but again, now much more straightforward pricing. Uh, again, one time $99. And then if you need to have uh, console support, then there is that, that enterprise level tier up at the top. But truth of the matter is, if you need console support, you're probably at the point where you are making money and that fee is going to be a very uh, minimal part of your take home. So uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. First off, what do you think of Game Maker? I haven't checked out Game Maker in a very long time. I'm kind of tempted to play around with it now that it's got the, uh, these tierings available. I think this is just good news. Uh, so again, e even if you don't like Game Maker, uh, again, it's uh, available, it's free. Uh, you can use it in an educational environment, for example. Uh, it, it's been around for a very long time and it it's works and it's proven. So uh, I'm curious what you think overall of these changes of the new pricing of Game Maker in general. Let me know. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.